question is, has Park ever considered replacing the trains on flight deck with the Vessels train trains? <laughs> Please say yes. <laughs> the question was regarding uh, flight deck and the Vacoma uh, new style trains. Um, will Wonderland ever consider that? So it's kind of a question about the future, and I you know my answer on that. But all kidding aside, we, we have explored those options with Vacoma and other vendors. Um, so that is something that we do have um, on a on a burner on a back burner, um, and one day that may happen. But. <laughs> Have to wait and see, I guess. Alrighty, uh, the internet is ablaze. Every Canada's Wonderland fan is sharing a tweet, talking about it, gossiping about it, and getting their bulldozers ready to assist Wonderland in removing Flight Deck. I kid you. Um, but nonetheless, uh, Grace Peacock on Twitter tweeted a little funny tweet last night, and it set, I guess, like every Instagram group chat, every group chat, our Discord server, um, ablaze, WhatsApp groups, like just everyone is chatting about this tweet, and it's just, so, it's so funny because um, I can see both sides, and normally, normally I would be all over this like, this has to be a teaser. And trust me, I've definitely been like, kind of like back and forth. Like, is this a teaser? Is it not a teaser? I'm like, nah, it can't be a teaser. But I'm going to go over everything. So I put that clip at the beginning of the video for a specific reason. Um, at the ACE event that we attended, a question was asked about Flight Dex trains and if the park had ever considered um, getting the new model of trains. The answer was really interesting because they did confirm that Wonderland had um, pursued looking into getting new trains, both from Vacoma and other manufacturers, which is really interesting. Now, if you paid specific attention, it did seem like that idea may not be happening anymore. It's not fully, like, I can't fully tell if it's not happening anymore, but to me, it seemed like it's been put on the back burner, and then he he went on to say, and this is the part, because I like to pay attention to, like, facial, um, in, like, reactions and stuff. Um, he went on to say, well, I guess you'll have to see if it does happen, or, and then he went to go say doesn't happen, but he stopped himself and didn't end up finishing saying that little part of the sentence. I thought that was a little interesting. Again, that is an, an extreme reach right there. So... Put that in your back pocket because that is me reaching, but I just thought that was a little interesting. So let's go over some of the things. Flight Deck does take up a really interesting plot of land. And we know that Canada's Wonderland is highly interested in working on the theming in Frontier Canada as part of a phase development. And now the old International World Expo, sorry, um, section of the park as well. We kind of got that back during the Yukon era in 2019 that the park was going to start to focus on that area. And Flight Deck is one of that main attractions that sits at the very entrance of World Expo that's like... Um, an action zone themed ride so I think that we could potentially see maybe Backlot and Flight Deck get a either so Flight Deck removed and Backlot rethemed to reintroduce World Expo I think that would be amazing remove Extreme Sky Flyer put in a new kind of roller coaster that's themed to World Expo like one of the you know countries around the world I would love to see an Asian themed roller coaster in Flight Deck spot across from the old Back to its glory, Asian themed, Japanese themed restaurant that Backlot is now. So I would love to see that. I think that would be amazing if the park did that. I would literally be like, drink the Kool Aid, biggest fan. Like, <laughs> anyways, nonetheless, do I think Grace's tweet means anything? So let's get right on to that. I went over what I think could happen if it does. Do I think Grace's tweet means something? <sighs> oh, that's so difficult. Um, ultimately. Yeah, it probably has some sort of, you know, hint. Does that mean it's for 2022? <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, I can't see Wonderland just removing Flight Deck, but again, this is the park that just got up and removed Orbiter without saying anything. So it's always difficult to predict what Canada's Wonderland's going to do. We don't operate like the American parks. But, um, I mean, they announced Skyrider was, was getting removed and they held a last rider event, and I think that they would do the same for Flight Deck, and we haven't seen such. So is it going to be removed during the off season this year? No, it's not. 
Did Grace's tweet ultimately mean that a roller coaster is coming soon and flight deck's going to be removed soon, soon? No, the tweet didn't mean that. In that area, what you saw with that rip tombstone, it's a scare zone. So there's a spe specific scare zone that always is around that area. And <laughs> Grace was definitely just having fun. And she knew what she was doing. And I loved it. I live for it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, definitely, like, people in our Discord server were dying over it. Uh, she's definitely just having fun. You know, a Tony Clark type of tweet. Um, and I, I hope we see more of that because I, I absolutely love when park management um, teases and tweets and kind of like BSs a bit. I think it's really funny and it creates like a lot of conversation for the park as well and it gets people going and excited. I know there's like a group of people that are going to Wonderland to ride Flight Deck now. So like that's the kind of hype it creates and I just find that really funny and awesome and just it's, it's just amazing. So, yeah, I don't think Flight Deck's going anywhere anytime soon. Don't panic. I don't actually know. Normally, I do kind of hear things through, like, the pipe um, a little bit beforehand um, with stuff now. But I, I'm not hearing anything about Flight Deck. In fact, I've heard quite the opposite about Flight Deck, that it's probably going to stay here for a couple more years. So, again, I don't think Flight Deck's going anywhere anytime soon. I do think it is on the chopping block probably like four to five years from now. Um, but I think Wonderland's focus is still going to be Frontier Canada. I think it's a phased development and their focus is ultimately getting that Frontier Canada um, solidified at Canada's Wonderland. And I think you're going to see that over and over again. You're going to see something coming um, in 2022 as an experience or possibly 2023 um, as a ride, but I definitely think we're going to see something in the Whitewater Canyon area, um, either for 2022, 2023, based off of what I'm hearing through my um, the rumor mill right now, I'll call it. Um, I'm hearing certain things um, about, um, what do you call it, corn stalkers um, being removed, uh, the new sign going up, and then even the trick-or-treating that normally takes place back there. It is not taking place back there um, this year. So definitely some things to pay attention to. And uh, I definitely think that Frontier Canada has another attraction, is what we'll call it, um, coming either in 2022 or 2023 as the park gets ready. And we have that awesome um, restaurant coming on Vortex Firework Hill. So super excited. I'm really... I actually also do think that there's more coming. I think there's, there's going to be some like drink and food um, venues that are expanded in Medfair. Um, I was at the park and did get to witness something that I'm not going to talk about quite yet because I like, again, different era of the channel. We're not going to expose things. Um, but I do think that there's some more unique um, things that are going to happen. Again, parks always do small upgrades without announcing them. And I think that's what we're going to see in 2022. I think you're going to walk in and there's going to be some changes that weren't announced because they're small scale and not worth announcing is what I'm trying to get out with that. But nonetheless, super excited. It's first day of Halloween Haunt. Hopefully you guys are going. It's going to be fantastic. Um, typically, the first weekend of Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland is extremely dead. Um, so I'm hoping it's a little slower. But this year with... COVID, um, things are different. People are looking for things to do, and the park has done a great job marketing the event. Um, and with TikTok, there's been a lot of hype with Canada's Wonderland, so I have a feeling that they might actually be quite busy. Nonetheless, we'll be live streaming and filming some awesome videos. I'm hanging out with some amazing people. And again, I just wanted to take some time to thank everyone for um, spreading some positivity in that video where I opened up. Honestly, it feels like a 50,000 ton weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I really do. My chest feels like lighter. Um, the person I've been talking to um, was definitely right. Like speaking and the more you talk about things, it really does. It does feel good. Like it feels really good. I feel good. Like, and it, it feels good to say that. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much. I think that's it. I think I said everything about Flight Deck. Hopefully, I want you guys to comment down below. Would you be sad if Flight Deck left Canada's Wonderland? Um, and what do you think would replace it? I want to see those two things. Would you be sad if Flight Deck left? And what do you think would replace it? Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing weekend. Um, and hopefully I see you at the park this weekend. Have a good one. Bye.